Yes, I want to craft something. Let's craft um, the fishing rod. Which is what I intended to do the first time I got here. I made a flimsy fishing rod. Uh, all done for now. All right, so let's move that down. Oops, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to move it down. Exit sign, a bag worm. All right, let's, let's show them some stuff here. Let's see what kind of progress that makes. Ah, Ryan, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Um, I found a creature. Oh, splendid. Let's have a look, shall we? So I can choose... Let's choose the bag worm. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a bag worm. Hmm, if this island can support a bag worm... Why, who knows what other fantastic creatures we might find living here. Ryan, I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum, and I'd love to send it to him for a closer look. There we go. There's the museum I was talking about. Would you be okay with that? Okay. Thank you. I promise that I'll take extra good care of your bag worm. Oh, that reminds me. This is in no way tied to your generous donation just now, but I have a useful app to show you. I'm assuming it's like the... the glossary. Or the Critterpedia is what they're calling it, yeah. I sent you the Critterpedia app. It's a terrific resource for an aspiring island researcher such as yourself. With this one app, you'll get all the important details about the bugs and fish you catch. Yes, yes. I do hope you'll continue to fill it up with your discoveries and share them with me too. I'm sure I'll be able to come up with some kind of additional reward, hmm? Cool. All right, so let's uh, let's take a let me move this around a little bit actually. Before I do that, let me go ahead and give him the other two fish as well. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. I found a creature. Oh, another creature. Well, let's have a look at that one as well. So here we go. We got a bass, black bass. Oh, what a catch! I do believe this is a black bass. Would you mind if I sent this magnificent creature along to my museum curating friend as well? Okay, absolutely. Thank you. I promise that I'll take extra good care of your black bass. It'll be the same line every single time. Have I been taking advantage of the DIY bench? Of course I have. Come to think of it, I did see you tinkering around over there just a moment ago. That reminds me. I've been meaning to share more DIY recipes with you. Mind turning on your phone? Okay, cool. You could always go for more recipes. Please give me a shovel now. I just sent you a number of DOI recipes that require wood, along with a recipe to craft an axe. Fantastic. I think an axe would come in quite useful on this island, because so many other things are made of wood. Hmm? I hope you'll keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all a part of the island experience. Yes, yes. Okay, we'll have one more fish, and hopefully this will give me another DIY recipe. Unless that's, like, it for now. Alright. Mackerel. What a catch. I do believe this is a horse mackerel. I'm not going to read this over and over again. Yes, you can send it along to the museum curating friend. A proper reward this time. Cool. Flowers? I've given you a red tulip bag. Just a little sampling of a product we sell. Go ahead and do some planting, and after a few days, you'll have a beautiful, you'll have beautiful blooming flowers. Anyway, give it a whirl. And if you enjoy gardening, stop by and buy more. I hope they'll keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all a part of the island experience. Yes, yes. Okay. Cool. Um, where was that? Oh, he, he's, it's already in the, in the DIY thing, I think. Well, let's take a look at these now. Have a nice DIY. 11 out of 10. 300 more miles. So I think it's 470 more until like, until that's paid off. I'm not sure. I, I, I keep thinking it's 5,000, but then I'm not sure. All right, cool. I can make an axe, a bonfire, tiki torch, log stakes, and a birdhouse now. And I need one stone to make the axe, so let's go ahead and do that right now. We'll try to pick up that stone that I dropped at the edge of the river there on the bottom right-hand side. Unless I find one on the way there. It doesn't look like I will. Pick up some branches, pick up some weeds on the way. Awesome. Alright, should still be there. Cool. Now this should hopefully help me set up my own workbench and my... Uh... I'm not sure if it's like you have to set it up in your home or if you can like pull it out at any given time and then use it while you're out and about, which would be super dupe for helpful. Or I'm hoping it's that one.
But for now, I'll just keep going back here. All right, let's make that, uh, let's make that axe now. Here we go, flimsy axe. Let's do it. I made a flimsy axe. All done for now. Let's organize this again. Kind of put that right there and that over there. Actually, umbrella is least important. Put on the very end. We'll equip this. Oh, can't use that right now. Cool. Got some more miles. Let's see. Uh, here we go. DIY tools. Five out of five tools crafted. 48, 30. All right, let's equip that axe. Let's see. Let's get rid of this one right here. Oh, hello. Let's swing it that way instead. Oops. Oh, I guess it doesn't chop it down, huh? Let me see. It does not chop it down. I wonder if I can make like a sturdier axe, if that's how that works. Sturdier axes would lead to uh, being able to actually chop down the tree, I hope. So it looks like at most, chopping at them gives you three. So I have three, oh, a softwood, hardwood, and regular wood now. Okay. I believe that is softwood right there. Can't tell the difference. Nope, that was uh, regular wood. Softwood is a bit lighter. Wood, hardwood, and hardwood. Oops. Two, three. So we got one of each this time. All right. So let's pull up the old phone here. Did I just earn Nook Miles? No, here we go. Rough, rough hone. Ruff, Ruff whom? Island development is Nook Inc.'s goal. We need a lot of materials to make that happen, so we're giving away Nook Miles based on how much wood you've chopped from trees. We actually two more, and uh, that'll, um, I mean, that'll pay off the debt, I think. Like, there we go. Let me turn down the light. Wait. I'm getting a little bit blinded. There we go. All right. Got 300 more Nook Miles. So let's go talk to him about that really quick and see what's going on with that. I'm just going to adjust the camera settings I have up here really quick. One second. Don't want to make it too bright, but bright enough that you can see me a little bit better. All right, cool. So, I have a question for you, sir. About that fee. You'd like to pay your moving fees? Very well. You owe 5,000 miles. I'm ready to pay. Here you go. Thank you so much. Indeed, that is 5,000 miles and not a mile less. With that, your moving fees have been paid in full. This is a happy day for both of us, hmm? Yes, yes, you're free and clear of debt, living on a thriving scenic island. What could be better? Oh, that was an actually rhetorical question. Let me be more specific. How is that tent treating you? Um, it's... it's fine, I guess, we'll be honest. Oh, just fine? But consider, doing fine on a formerly deserted island is actually quite good, hmm? <laughs> Together, we're reshaping this barren waste... I mean, pristine paradise into a lovely community. Ah, uh, yes. But we mustn't rest on our laurels, hmm? Perhaps there is more we could do. Yes, yes. I suppose the time is right to discuss the possibility of building custom homes. Now, there are certain challenges to building fabulous homes in a remote location such as this. Challenges that do translate directly into costs, I'm afraid. Ah, but with zero interest financing and an extremely lax repayment plan, anything is possible. So, Ryan, if you ever find yourself interested in a new home, do come see me. Oh, one more thing to share. We have a Miles Redemption service for the Nook Miles you've collected. 
When you access the Nook Stop, you'll be able to redeem your miles for lots of interesting things. You'll be sure to check it out sometime soon, hmm? Well then, I hope you continue to enjoy your gateway package life. Getaway package life, not gateway. Let's open up our phone here. Here we go. Moving fees paid. Thank you for paying all your fees for moving to the island. Take a Nook Miles rebate as a gift and give yourself a nice pat on the back. 500. Cool. I think that's it. Yep. Let's look, take a look at the Critterpedia here. Check this app for information on the bugs and fish you've caught. All right. Well, that is a... That is a lot. Bagworm. Is that really what a bagworm looks I feel like there's no way. Okay, cool. It gives you the active hours as well. Oh, you can get black bass at literally like almost any time. Bitterling, bagworm. Okay, and then over here we got horse mackerel. Cool. Okay. All right. Well, actually, I should have just talked to him really quick. I should have just talked to him and inquire about the housing situation at least. Let's see. Uh, what would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. About my home. Oh, Ryan. Have you made a decision about home ownership? Ready to move forward into, a com into comfort and luxury? As fun as living in a tent can be, a house gives you more space and helps you put down roots. Now, building a house means taking out a new loan in the amount of 98,000 bells. So what do you think? Ready to build your own home sweet home? Let's do it. Thank you for your business. I'll get construction started right away. By the way, you get to choose from eight different colors for the roof. Could you please select a roof color from this list, hmm? Um, uh, the idea, I, w I would want blue. Can I get blue? There are four other options. Choose one of these or one of the previous colors. Blue, aqua, we'll choose blue. Okay, you'll have a blue roof. I'll get that order in for you. Yes, yes. Oh, one more thing. Homeowners get an automatic Nook mileage program upgrade. Just give me one moment. Hmm. Yes, yes, there we go. I've updated your program membership details, Ryan. Now, when you use the Nook Miles app, you'll have access to all the Nook Miles Plus benefits. Nook Miles Plus includes a nifty way to earn additional miles for special circumstances. You'll see the details when you launch the app, so please give it a look when you can. That is all from me. Your wonderful new home should be ready tomorrow. Quite exciting, yes? I think so. Cool. But tomorrow, tomorrow, like, I have to actually wait 20, like, not 24 hours, but like real life tomorrow, tomorrow. It's brutal. But it, like, it, it makes you come back, I have to say. It, it does make you want to come back. Let's see. Um, exit sign, bunch of wood. Red tulip bags. So how do I? Let me let me just take a look at this. If I want to, let's place it right here. Let's just like place one, plant one. Okay. Well, that was pretty straightforward. Let's plant another one. Let's grab one. Why would I do that? Oh, here we go. Oh, I see. Plant it there. I'm just gonna kind of plant them about. Not sure where my house is gonna get built. So we'll kind of just like scatter them a little bit. We'll put one work over here, plant one there, and then uh, eh. I'm assuming the point of this is to harvest them, so we'll plant one here as well. Move that over. Lots of weeds. All right, let's get some of these. Oh, is that it? Just two from that one? Okay. Oh, that's right. I can craft other stuff now. I, I don't think... Oh, that works. Is it three? No, more. Five. All right, well... Oh, and goodbye. <laughs> Guess that's it for my flimsy axe. All right, that's fine. That's totally fine. Oh, there's the other one. It wasn't three, it was it wasn't just two, there was a third one on the side or like right above it. I got some bells here too. 
100 bells. Not sure how many... Well, I've got five. We'll try to collect some more and see. Because I have... Um, I have a net. And I have a fishing rod, so really the only thing I need to make is that axe again. Let's see. Let's craft. Okay, let's look at the craftables. So... Okay, so it's showing that it's currently in my inventory. We'll craft one of these, because I definitely need it. I made a flimsy axe. Keep crafting. So I can build a bonfire. I have a campfire already. I can build stakes, a mirror, a DIY workbench, tiki torches. We'll definitely craft this one. That one was kind of a definite. So we can put that on my tent now. Um, bu 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 bonfire, campfire, log stakes. Can't make anything else not without smashing into more rocks. So let me move this over here. That's all good to go. Yes. All right, let's put our workbench over here in the old tent. So we'll kind of put it like over here in the corner. Not sure I like this corner or the other corner, but this is the corner it's going into. There we go. Gotta craft something. Alright, cool. Not right now. What I wanna do is I wanna No, don't place that. <laughs> Let's get out of here and equip it, because I wanna use it. That's the whole point. So I know there was a stone over here. Yep. What up? Three, four, five. We'll leave it at five. I think five is the limit for rocks. We can test it though. It's five. We get some of these. Three. Which will obviously be used to make more efficient things later, I hope would be strange if that was not the case. One, two, three. All right, so this is starting to get clear of weeds pretty good. One, two, three. And it did work on them weeds. Oh, here we go. One. Oh, coins. Or bells. Is this all bells? Wow. Okay. Uh, sometimes you just get lucky. All right, so it's still five. That was awesome. Did not realize or know that that was a thing. Keep cleaning up these weeds here. You know, it's funny. You know, I got into Stardew Valley because of this game, really. Um... And so far, I haven't quite decided whether or not I like this game more or Stardew Valley. What I like about this game, I suppose, is, like, Stardew Valley's system was based purely on, like, like, the days went by really, really fast. 
And for this one, you know, the days only go by as fast as they are in real life and stuff like that. So there wasn't like, I know that there obviously in Stardew Valley, you have things like fighting monsters and stuff. And because of that, you had the prospect of time to look to kind of like fight against too. You want to make sure you got in bed at the right moment as well. Um, whereas this one, if you go lie in bed, as far as I know, doesn't actually mean anything. Like you can't just randomly go to sleep for no reason. Um, because it's following, you know, it's following, like, your actual time. So, going to bed would do nothing because, you know, it, he would wake up and it would be, like, um, like 30 seconds later for you in real life. So, yeah. But so far, I like this game more because it just seems a little bit more chill than Stardew Valley. Like, uh, when you look at them on the spectrum, Stardew Valley is, like, significantly different. Even though most people would consider them to be in, like, kind of the exact same boat in terms of how they play. For me, personally, I think, um, just, th they're so different. If someone were to say, hey, I want something very similar that's kind of chill, which would you prefer, Stardew Valley or Animal Crossing? I would recommend Animal Crossing in a heartbeat. So right now, I've kind of just resorted to uh, cleaning up all the weeds here. We've got a good portion of the weeds plucked currently. Oop. Got a little itch. And I'm very excited to see what happens tomorrow when we, when we come back to the island and start over from there. The fact that every day starts over brand new is, is a really interesting prospect, and I, I love that about the game. Hello. Uh, how do I get that? How do I get that present? What do I have to do? No! <laughs> oh, give it to me! Oh, are you serious? Do I just have to wait for it to pop? I feel like... Maybe I can use a net. Let me see. Huh. Fall. Fall. Just fall. Or land in the tree or something. Oh, are you serious? I can't get it. No. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it gonna like hit a tree? I can't get that gift. That's so sad. That's super upsetting. Oh, okay, whatever. That's just gonna taunt me the entire time I'm standing here. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Hello, wait a minute. What are you? Come here. Gotcha. I uh, got a centipede. 99 more and I have a dollar peed. <laughs> Heard that one earlier today and I was like, really? Oh wow, that only had one. Oh, I want it, man. I want that gift, but it's just not... Oh, it's just not gonna happen, I guess. 